Victoria's 58th Parliament has been opened, blending traditions many hundreds of years old with the constitutional requirements for Parliament to begin its work. Opening day ceremonies began with a welcome to country by Aboriginal elders. Only the second time this traditional ceremony has been included in opening day proceedings. I walk proudly in the footprints of my father, my leaders and my ancestors, knowing that their values and quality has sustained me to continue their journey and stand tall for our people. So, in the language afforded to me by my ancestors, I'd like to pay my respects to the land that we now stand and to the elders of thousand generations that went before us. So, Wamanjika, Marambikbik, Bunurong, Namda, Barupt, and Ata Willem. That means welcome to our beautiful home, the lands of the two great bays. Members of the Legislative Assembly and Legislative Council then moved into their respective chambers for their swearing in and for the election of the Parliament's presiding officers. I now ask honourable members to come to the table as I call the electoral district and the name of the member. I swear by Almighty God, I swear by Almighty God that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty and Her Majesty's heirs and successors. In the Legislative Assembly, Uruguayan-born Talmo Languilla was elected Speaker, with Don Nardella chosen as Deputy. I accept this nomination as a celebration of multiculturalism, bipartisanship and democracy. Allow me to say this in Spanish. Hoy celebramos el multiculturalismo, bipartidismo y democracia. In the Legislative Council, Bruce Atkinson was elected for a second term as President, with Gail Tierney as Deputy. It's the start of a very privileged term of service on behalf of all Victorians. Arrival of the Governor of Victoria for the official opening was heralded by a traditional Aboriginal smoking ceremony on the front steps of Parliament House. Governor Alex Shornov then delivered the opening speech in a Legislative Council chamber filled with parliamentarians and dignitaries. The general election on 29 November resulted in a change of government in Victoria. Following the election, I commissioned the leader of the Victorian Labor Party, Mr Daniel Andrews, to form a new government. Accordingly, I have called you together on this day, the first session of the 58th Parliament, to outline the policy agenda and legislative intentions of this new government in its first term. With the official ceremonies over, Parliament got down to business with question time in both houses. The government introducing the first legislation of the 58th Parliament and newly elected members delivering their inaugural speeches. To get free news alerts, just email news at parliament.vic.gov.au or check our website for details.